Yeah, I mean, it, it, both both of us had different teams, and, and I know Missouri State was a little, a little shorthanded tonight as well. But um, I, I thought um, defensively we, we were pretty good. Uh, you know, last year at halftime we were up 11, 12, 13, similar to, to this year. And I thought um, this second half we were a little better than last year. I thought Missouri State second half last year really came out and were the aggressor. Um, we were able to come back and win that game. And I thought today we were able to maintain – uh, kind of our aggressiveness, we were able to keep the pace uh, offensively, and, and um, I thought we were able to wear into them a little bit uh, later in that second half. You talked about defense. Kind of two questions here. I'll start with you had 14 points off turnovers, 11 points off fast breaks. How important was turning that defense into points on the board tonight? Yeah, I, I think our, our defense uh, was very connected tonight. Uh, and when you're able to get those type of opportunities where you can get steals and get out in transition and, and uh, before they get their defense set, set it's uh, it's always a huge advantage. So I thought our, our overall defense just did a good job of, of kind of keeping them in front of us, uh, not giving them a lot of you know good clean opportunities, and, and we were able to make them play uh, around bodies and hands a lot. So we were able to get some of those uh, opportunities to get uh, hands on balls and, and get going the other way. And then going off of defense as well. One of the things that Kevin told me at Media Day preseason was that he was hoping people would be more impressed by his defense and what he could bring there. You had him against Donovan Clay for most of the night. Can you just talk about putting a true freshman against a guy like that? Yeah, I thought he was tremendous. Uh, I mean, I, I think a lot of Donovan Clay, I think he's an awesome player. You know, tremendous mismatch uh, to try to um, guard and, and to hold them to three for 13, um, you know, 0 for 4 from 3. And, and, uh, I thought was did a really good job, but again, not everybody behind him did their part too to help protect him. But um, I thought he really battled, was able to get through screens, and, and uh, really competed on that side. This feels like a weird question to keep asking when you're winning games, but not a great night from three point range for you guys again. Are there, you know, Tucker and Ko said that they weren't really concerned, but are there concerns about that, or because you're making it up elsewhere, it's just no, it, it's. Um, I mean, just like a lot of sports, you know, baseball hitters go through, you know, slumps and things. Uh, shooting's the same way. I'm, we have really good shooters, so um, I'm actually more excited about it. To be honest with you, that we're able to to win a few games here, but we have not shot it very well because I know what our guys and how they can shoot it. Um, we have a really good shooting team. We're just in, in one of those little bowls right now when they're not going in, but we are getting good looks. Um, It'd be different if we were taking a lot of bad ones. Um, we're getting great, great looks at it. Um, they're going to start falling, and, and that, uh, to me, as a coach, is more exciting that we're able to win, you know, despite uh, some shooting uh, woes right now. How important are the two conference wins under your belt here? Obviously, turning back to non-conference play for a couple of weeks, but uh, how how important are these two? Weeks? Yeah, I think they're huge because you you, you got to flip. Like you go from an MTE and then you come and you play these two conference games just thrown at you right in the middle of everything. So um, they're so critical. Every conference game is so they all matter equally. But then you all of a sudden you go and you play you know five more non-conference games. You come back and you think you're just getting started again. It's like no, wait a minute, we're actually here, here, here already. Um, uh, so we haven't. I don't. I don't believe we've started two and zero in this since we started doing this where we're playing in the middle. So. Um, you know, I'm excited about it. We really challenged our guys to try to try to come away with this 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 win to put us in that position. Now we got to shift our focus back to a, a really good uh, stretch of non-conference games before we uh, get to Christmas.